Edward Hopper's lifelong enthusiasm for the city developed when he was a boy in Nyack, New York, when a prosperous Hudson River port with an active shipyard years later. Years later, in 1935, he and his wife built a house and studio in South Tura, Massachusetts, where he produced a number of oil paintings, including this one, Groundswell. Despite its bright palette and seemingly serene subject, Groundswell echoes the themes of loneliness and escape, typical of Hopper's Au revoir. The blue sky, sun-kissed figures, and vast rolling struck water strike calm in the picture. However, the visible disentanglement of the figures from each other and their noticeable Preoccupation with the bell buoy placed at the center of the canvas call into question their initial scene of serenity. The lone dark element in a sea of blues and whites, the buoy, confronts a small catboat in the middle of an otherwise empty seascape. Its purpose is to emit a warning sound in advance of unseen or imminent danger and renders its presence in the picture ominous. The serious clouds in the blue sky, often harbingers of approaching storms, reinforce the scene of a disturbance in the otherwise peaceful setting. Although Hopper resists offering explanations for this painting, signs of impending danger here may also reference a more severe disturbance during the time that Hopper worked on Groundswell from August to September 15, 1939, World War II had broken out in Europe. Created using Powtoon.